Hey guys, Chris, Midwest Long Range. Today we're gonna to take a look at some pretty cool components and a little bit different rifle. Uh, I've had some questions about the barrel tuner that I use on my Begara, and I know I said I was gonna do a video about it a while back, but this is the Kinetic Security Solutions Adaptive Tuning System. And I recently just got rid of my Begara uh, sold it off gun shot amazing it was nothing to do with it but at Midwest Gun and Pawn we are actually uh, voodoo gun work stealers so I'm going to transition into a voodoo 360 uh, one of these days but um, I also just thought that really for real world comparison on Everybody asks, does it make a difference, right? Well, this is my son's gun. This is a Ruger Precision uh, 22 long rifle, the American flag version. Obviously, he, he fell in love with the stock I had on my Begara and wanted something that looked similar. But this is a completely factory gun. It's probably got less than three, 400 rounds to it at this point. Um, it's been hot here and uh, we just haven't got out and done a lot of shooting. My son's only seven, so we're just kind of working with him on this stuff really right now. But this is a pretty typical setup that I've seen at several uh, NRL type matches or even PRS. Uh, a lot of guys seem to start out with one of these and they're a great little setup. That's why I got it for my, my son as well. Very adjustable and adjustable trigger. Uh, we put a little Caldwell bipod on the front of it, something simple, uh, not a lot of money in it. It does have a ride on X5 Conquer 5 to 25 by 50 on it, sitting in a Warren mount with the factory Ruger 30 MOA rail on it. Um, I run the X5 on all my uh, 22 stuff anymore, the precision. I've run that scope on uh, big center fire guns as well, and it works out great. But I wanted, when teaching him, I wanted him to see, be seeing the exact same image I was when I was looking through the scope. So I got one of these so that he and I could communicate easier back and forth. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, uh, we're shooting uh, Ely Target. It's branded Remington, but this is when Ely was making it for them. Just some older ammo I had sitting in the, in the uh, gun safe. And we're gonna get this thing out there and. I'm going to sight it in at 100 yards, show you what the groups look like without, then we'll put the barrel tuner on it, tune it up, and see what the differences are. And then hopefully that'll help you guys to know whether or not you want to spend the money to get one of these guys. They're, they're not the cheapest barrel tuner I've ever seen, but uh, it, I, kind of spoiler alert, it did work well for my Begara as far as bringing the group sizes down at distance. At 50 yards, I just don't know that you're going to be able to tell uh, much of a difference if you're shooting a premium gun, uh, Begara, CZ, Voodoo, Rim X, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, maybe with the Ruger, maybe, I, I may try it at 50 and see what it does too, but let's put this thing together and get it going and uh, see what we got going on downrange. So stick with me. All right, we got the Ruger down here on the bench. We're going to uh, shoot a five shot group. There is one shot uh, a little high on the diamond. That was a cider shot, just making sure that uh, I had my dope right for this gun. It hasn't been shot in a little while. Um, but we'll shoot a little quick five shot group. This is at 100 yards. We'll see how it does and we'll go from there. All right. If you happen to see, there's another group on the paper already. But that was with a different gun. That was actually a seven mag that I had on video. But I'm gonna shoot at the uh, the right corner of this diamond.
All right. Well, I'm looking at the group here and I will say that is a uh, pretty well pitiful. <laughs> um, so we know where our baseline is. Uh, and that being said, I, I uh, huh. I would not run Ely targets in this gun, but for the tuner purposes, the test, it will, it'll work fine. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put the tuner on here. We're going to get our zeroed out and we will start our, uh, groups with the tuner and making adjustments. All right. I've got the thread protector pulled off. We're going to go ahead and thread the adaptive tu tuning system on. Pretty simple. It just uh, goes on your existing uh, half by 28 threads. And it will go all the way back till it shoulders up. And give it a little snug. And then put your thread protector back on. Like a jam nut. Give it a little twist, snug her up. Now we're ready to do the work. We'll see what it does. Okay, we've got the tuner on. It's zeroed. Uh, it's screwed out to the flush position. I'm going to take two shots, see what they look like, and then we will adjust the tuner in two tenth increments. There's one. two already looks like pretty good improvement really um, just by putting the, the, the weight of that tuner out there um, but we're gonna go ahead uh, that was our first setting we'll make an adjustment and see what happens all right now we're gonna make an adjustment take our Allen wrench here loosen the set screw and I have a, I put a little marker mark here on the top of my barrel so that I can see where I'm adjusting to. Remove two tenths. Tighten my set screw back up. And we will try again and we will continue to do this until we are happy with the, with the group sizes. All right, we've made our adjustment of two tenths. And uh, now we're gonna try this again and See how this goes. I believe we just put two shots in the same hole. So that does not usually happen quite that fast. Uh, but now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna load up a five round magazine and shoot a five shot group. And we will compare the beginning group that was atrocious to what we have now. All right, we'll see how it goes. All right, we're on the same setting where we had the two shots going in the same hole. If you're wondering why I'm only doing two shots at a time, it's ammo conservation simple math one of those deals if I take two shots and the first two aren't either touching or ridiculously close then why continue because we're not looking for you know if they're already an inch apart or a half inch apart move on you know don't waste the other rounds that's just my opinion I'm sure a lot of people will disagree with me but it uh if I can't get them first two together, the next three probably aren't going to help a whole lot. So, anyway, let's uh, let's take our five-shot group here. We're going to go to an unscathed target. Kind of felt like I might have pulled it. Maybe 
Oh, sorry, I forgot if I was recording or not, and I broke my cheek weld. Bad shooter. All right, so as we can see there, I'll even zoom this out so or even consume the screen. Our first group was off the right point of the top left diamond, okay? Our last group was off the uh, right point of the bottom right diamond. That is a considerable difference because I'm sitting here looking at it. We are roughly, ugh, that's like a two inch group up there on top. And the one on the bottom is probably, I, I slung one way down there. So, I mean, I'm just spitballing. That's probably an inch, inch and a quarter. We probably cut three quarters of an inch off that group. Um, now given that's just me, I'm sitting here looking at this screen uh if you guys don't have one of these setups i'll show it to you i may even do a video on how i do this at some point i've got a a spotting scope with a phone cam adapter my iphone 11 pro uh, pro max up there and i'm i'm looking at the uh the groups in real time zoomed in at like 60 power plus a little bit of uh, zoom on my phone so i can see the groups pretty good and i can see the grid lines so but could I tune this in even better? Yeah, there's a, a really, really good possibility that I could, but the, the point is well made here is that this, the system works um, and it can work rather dramatically as you can see here. But at the same time, what, I, what we have noticed myself and several other guys as well, when running this system, at matches and day after day and and so on and so forth um we may do a lo longer video series on this because we've what i'm trying to say is it seems like the consistency from day to day may not be there um this setting works good today with these weather conditions and this ammo at this temperature humidity all that stuff matters where in a week, the weather conditions may change, and um, I could be shooting the same ammo, same barrel, everything's clean, no carbon ring, no excuses, and uh, this thing, it, it may shoot totally different. We've noticed it on several different guns, um, and I may track that on this gun across a longer period of time over uh, some other weather conditions and do a follow-up video to this, but as for today and the uh, initial reaction to it, I have shot this this tuner on my Begara for several matches now, and it really did make a difference at distance. At 50 yards, I noticed no no change, absolutely no change at 50 yards. But at 100 yards, my Begara B14 began to string vertically, and as the distance grew, that group grew exponentially and it uh it made a big difference trying to shoot out to three or four hundred yards with the 22 long rifle um i do like i said earlier in the video i've got a voodoo 360 with a bartland barrel coming so that'll be a whole different uh video series once it gets here uh we will we will test its accuracy with and without the uh the adaptive tuning system and we will tr do it not only at 50 yards 100 yards but we will move on to uh, three, four, who knows, maybe even 500 yards. We'll see. We'll see what it can do. Um, with all that being said, I also wanted to say thanks to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Uh, I looked the other day and we hit 500 subscribers. Now, compared to some of the other gun channels out there, that is not a, a huge number, but 
as you can see, I'm just one guy out of a shop and I've got some really good friends that help me do stuff for the channel. Uh, my, my, my buddy over at Midwest Gun and Pawn, huge shout out to him, Phil Jernigan, for helping me uh, and supporting the channel like he does. Uh, some other friends of mine uh, from the Mo series, uh, Dalton Cassidy, Doug Bowes, uh, Dave Odom, all these guys who have allowed me to come and film their matches and uh, just take part in what I'm trying to do. I really appreciate it. And getting to 500 subscribers for me has, is a, a big milestone, really. I never thought that 100 people, much less 500 people, would subscribe to my channel and want to hear what I have to say about anything. I'm just a, a normal guy who enjoys doing the hobby just like anybody else. So but we're going to keep the, keep the content coming. And as the weather cools off and is a little bit more uh, pleasant for us big boys, I will do. I will kick it into high gear and I will get some more videos coming. But it's been hot, and I've just been doing the family thing for the summer. So, but again, thanks everybody for getting us to 500 subscribers. I really appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed, hit hit that red button. Okay, it really helps me out more than you know. And uh, like and share. But uh, till next time. Midwest Long Range. Get out there, stay safe, keep shooting.